Hello friends, this is Bright here. In this video, I am going to explain how we can pass pointer to function in C programming language. Let me start with a simple code. So I am using NetBeans as my editor. This is a version of the NetBeans ID 8.2. Let me create a simple function. Let us say we have a function with the return type void and function name is just fun. An MD function I created and in the main I am going to declare a variable. Let us say variable name is number. It contains a value and now I am going to call this function fun. This time I want to pass this number as input to the function. So here we call function with input as number. So this number comes to here we have to receive it. Let us say it is received by a variable n. Now we have to see what is the type of number. The type of number is int. Then the receiving side also it should be of same type. And now I am going to increment n that is n plus plus. After that I am going to display the value. Let us say that the data is percentage d n. So here we are getting 5, the 5 is incremented, it becomes 6. And after calling this fun, I am going to display the value which is stored in number. We can use like this, print up. the data is percentage d slash n number. So here also I am going to use slash n whereas everything comes in the same line. Now let me run the program and here you can see first the fun is called it comes to here then the data is 6 but you can see when we come back to the main function the number remains same. There is no change in the value number. The reason is when we pass number as input to n, we are passing a copy of number. We can say that we are just passing or assigning 5 to n. The actual number remains there. So for this number variable it has its own memory and for this local variable n it has its own memory. So what, what is there in number? It is just copied to n. So both are in different region. Now when we modify n, we are modifying only the value which is in the region named by n. So that never reflect in the number data. So now what I am going to do is this time I am not going to pass just input as number, we are going to pass address of number. So in the pointer concept there are two operators. One of the operators is the address of. This time we are going to pass address. So address is given to n. Then n cannot be a normal integer, n must be a pointer variable. So since address can be given to a pointer, n must be prefixed by star and the data type of number is int, then the pointer type also int. Now if you write n++, plus plus, it means we are incrementing the address because n contains the address of number. Now n has its own memory, number has its own memory. But n contains 
address of number. So rather than putting n plus plus, we are going to access the value at n. So how we can access the value at n? n means address of number. So access value at address of number. Its meaning is access value at address of number. Since n contains address of number, that is replaced by here address of number. So value at, we can write like this, star value at, n contains address of number. So value at address of number, put a set of parentheses and now put plus plus. So the value at that address, that is the number 5 itself, that is incremented by 1. So we are modifying the number through this address which is available with n. And now we are not going to display n, we are going to say that the value at n. Now let us see the status. And now we can see here when the function is called it gives the data is 6, here also the data is 6. So this is called call by reference. If you don't put this ampersand or and symbol, it is called call by value. And when we are passing address, we call it as call by reference. We are passing reference of number, that is address of number to n. Now, if you want, we can store the address in a pointer variable. So, I am going to declare a pointer variable to store the address of number. For that int star p. So p is a pointer variable. Now store the address of number in p. We can say that p equals address of number. Now instead of passing address of number, I am going to put p. Now see the flow, the number is 5, we have a pointer variable to take the address of number and here we are passing a pointer variable. It is just like the previous call. So initially we kept address of number. Now that is replaced by p, where p is an integer pointer variable. So this is also called by reference because p contains address of number. And we can see that the same output we are getting. So this is about passing pointer to a function. Thank you for watching this video.